Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for watching. For today's video, I've gotten a lot of requests on how do we make the backdrop covers. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, let's get started. I'm sorry, a lot of this video is going to be narrated because um my wife didn't really want to be filmed. And really, you can go with any type of material. The main part, you want to go with the material. You don't want nothing too thick, but you don't want nothing too thin. Too thin will tear. But most basic material that you're going to get at Walmart or any will work. Um, I've used a lot of different material from there and they've, I've haven't, I haven't I have had any problem with it. The main thing you're going to be looking for is make sure that it's the size you need. A lot of the fabric that they have, the smaller fabric, is going to be like the 44 inches wide. And it depends on how wide your backdrop is. The backdrop I am build, I'm working on right now is 42 inches wide. So it doesn't give me too much room if I get a 44 inch. The width, you really need it to go at least a couple of inches on the outer sides. Um, so I'll cut up a couple of inches bigger than the actual backdrop you're making because you're going to kind of fold something behind of it. So like a 54 inch, the backdrop I'm building right now is 42 inches. So that definitely gives us a lot of room um, to kind of fold over on the corners because if not, it's going to not not going to wrap around the back even on a backdrop that's 48 inches. So a full four foot wide backdrop you can cover it with 54 inches that they have there because you just need um, it's good to have at least two to three inches on the outer corner next thing you're going to need is you're also going to need some sewing try to get the similar some sewing string try to get it close to the color you can you don't really have to but it, it definitely helps out a lot so with this tan backdrop i actually lost the footage on, on the one that i cut the, the one i'm going to show in the video of blue i actually lost the footage but i have some extra footage over here of a, a tan one this used to belong to a i had a four foot wide, a four foot wide six and a half foot backdrop and this was kind of what this one belonged to um so i'm just gonna re i repurposed it for this other video and all i did is kind of line up the side so if you kind of see you're gonna want to have an overhang of sides of at least two to three inches and you'll have that all the way around the side and all you're gonna do is just trace around and cut it with the material really um, you can trace around with a pencil if you want but i've kind of eyeballed the two to three inches and kind of know where i'm at and so all you're doing is cutting all the way around so you'll see me just double checking that I'm making sure, okay, I'm going to have enough material to fold these around and I'll definitely be able to reach around the back of the backdrop once we're all done. So two to three inches on each side and all around the top and the bottom, it'll definitely give us enough room to put the grommets in and still reach around the back. So all you're really doing, just grab some scissors and you're going to be cutting around. So it's pretty simple. It's, it's not a hard, it's not a hard thing to do. Um, I've sewn a little bit. I just didn't really want to sew on camera, to be honest with you. So I got my wife to see if she would sew a little bit. She didn't really want to be on camera, but she was okay with me filming the sewing. Uh, so that's the kind of what we're going to show on here. And it's going to be a pretty basic. All we're really going to do is fold it in maybe about half an inch on the, on the first fold. We're going to iron it out once it's flat. We're going to fold it over again. And this one's going to be about... And, um, as you can see, it's about that much that we're we're folding in and then we're going to iron it flat again. And then all we're doing is just going to be going around the edge, sewing it closed. Uh, no one really sees it. It's just really kind of to hold it in place. So you, it, don't expect it to be perfect. And if you're a <laughs> if you're great at sewing, that's that definitely helps out a lot. But it's not really something that's needed. In. And then once it's all folded. We're just going to sew towards the outside. What you really want to do is make sure there's probably about close to an inch of a gap because that you're around the outside. What we're going to eventually do is put the grommets on the inside. The grommets are actually going to be where kind of they're going to wrap around the screws to kind of hold everything in place. All right, the next step that we're going to do is kind of we got to poke the holes. So what we're going to do is place the material over the backdrop where we think it should go. And I usually start at the top, so it kind of gives me some point of reference. And I just put one screw through, make sure don't go don't go all the way through, and just kind of one screw on there and I literally just kind of start I stretch out the material a little bit out in each corner and I'm slowly starting to add screws just so I can start stretching the material out over the front. And don't be afraid to, once you screw it in a spot, it doesn't work out, pull that screw out and move it over, make it tighter, whatever you have to do to kind of make it better, to a better fit. And once we have all those holes, what you're gonna do 
is mark each one maybe you move some or you didn't and you'll see me mark it with a piece of red marker just on the back then we're also going to get the grommets now so the grommets are at walmart they're in the same material section you'll have to buy the grommets and then you'll kind of buy the grommet stomper which um you're using to kind of hammer into the grommets i'll show you in a second what i mean and so these are pretty simple what you're going to want to do is cut the material just enough to where that one longer grommet will fit through you're just going to fit the longer one all the way through you get the shorter one put it on top and they kind of snap together a little bit and then you kind of just place it on that little um, grommet stomper hit a couple of hits with the hammer and it's sealed in there and that'll prevent the material from tearing once we kind of like stretch it out a little bit and so now to make sure these grommets fit right they won't fit over normal screws you're gonna have to get the you're gonna have to get these screws and they're, they're a smaller head size but these are going to be the ones that will fit better. And now we'll go back to the original spots that we where we had the screws on the largest screws. We're going to put these screws in those in that place. We're going to screw them in. And now we can come try out the material to make sure it fits. And if you have to, don't be afraid to kind of pull out that screw and, and kind of pull it a little tighter and find a good spot for it to fit. kind of do is stretch out the material towards the screws and that'll kind of pull it tighter and it I've never really had a problem it's gone always pretty smooth but if you ever do a lot of times it's going to be covered by balloons but just in case I, I've never really had a problem you just kind of pull it tighter and vinyl does stick to the material here so if you want to put out letters a sign anything like that the vinyl sticks to it pretty well and also if you have this folded it, it shouldn't be a problem a lot of times I just kind of wrap material around. I, I just roll it in a ball, which I shouldn't be doing. But um, an old photographer's trick, just in case, all you're going to do is a little get a little spray bottle with some hot water and kind of a couple little spritz with it. And the hot water will actually kind of get rid of those wrinkles. But I've never really had to. If you fold it up nice, it's not going to give you a problem. Once you spread it out over the material and over the screws, it definitely gets rid of a lot of those lines. And you just kind of keep messing with it until you find what works for you so I haven't really seen other people do something like this this is just something I just did out of necessity because I didn't want to paint and um, so this works out pretty well so don't be afraid to change anything new and if you try something that works a little bit better put it in the comments below so we can all learn and try something new definitely helps the community grow so don't be afraid to kind of put it in the comments and let us know what works for you I'm definitely not someone who sews or does anything like that so if you find a better option this was just me i went to walmart and i was like well how can i get this material to stick and this is just kind of the way it put together but it, it worked out well for me hopefully it works out well for you it's pretty simple i've done a couple of these now um if you have any questions leave in the comments below thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe definitely helping the channel grow and if you want to see how we created this backdrop we have another video on our channel that shows exactly that